Well, these are some pretty spectacular LS tectonites. That's the schistosity coming down like this, the foliation. And if I look really carefully on this without losing my hat, I can see there's a really strong stretching lineation made of strung out quartz grains. So let's measure these up. So here's the foliation and looking down on the foliation plane I can see a linear fabric running like this down parallel to my pencil running down like this and it's made of strung out quartz grains so that orientation there is our lineation on the foliation plane and we'll measure this linear fabric with a plunge and plunge direction we'll obviously measure the foliation with a strike and a dip and we'll do that first Okay, let's get going. Rucksack off, let's find my compass and notebook. So I'm gonna start by measuring the foliation. Here we go. So that has a strike there of 020 and a dip of 26 degrees towards the east. So that's 02026. So let's write that down. Okay, so now we come to doing the stretching lineation, which is running down like this. And we're gonna measure this as a plunge and a plunge direction. The plunge is the angle that it's pointing downhill, that, that inclination, and the plunge direction is the direction my pencil's pointing in the down dip direction or down plunge direction. So let's make those measurements now. And the way to do this, first of all, is to set the compass up as a clino, which I've just done because I've just been taking my foliation reading, and line it up with, carefully with the linear fabric in the rock, tip it round, and measure it round and I can see that that is plunging 24 degrees down that way towards the uh, well down that general direction so the plunge is 24 um, which I'll make a note of and then we're going to measure the orientation of the plunge direction so that's 24 towards well dot 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 so the way to do this is to I'm using my notebook and I'm lining the edge of my notebook up with the lineation and we're making a vertical plane that contains the lineation. And the plunge direction is simply the strike of this vertical plane that contains the lineation. So I'm gonna do that now. Bit of practice, so you can do this one-handed. So it's plunging that way down towards the east end of this, which is towards 096. So we'll add that as a plunge direction into my notebook towards 096. So there is our data for uh, this pair of uh, fabrics, the LS tectonite, the L being the linear fabric, the S being the schistosity or foliation. And that's the data that we can collect here.